Good evening everyone, welcome to this SFM tutorial series. So Source Film Maker, commonly known as SFM, is an animation software developed by Valve which was released around 2012 or 2013. Valve has used this software to make a lot of animations you may know uh, today. For example, Meet the Medic, Meet the Spy, other animations like exp Expiration Date. It's actually a quite simple and easy to use software. I, I do use it a lot because of those reasons. Nevertheless, I think you can't really use SFM without uh, watching any tutorials because you still need a, some basics in order to know how to use it properly and my purpose uh, with these tutorials is to show you how to at least correctly uh, use Source Maker, make a very simple animation and then that should do it. So with Source Maker, you can also make posters uh, with animations of course so if you if you don't wanna if you don't really want to make animations and just Want to stick to pictures or posters? You, you can just go for that. I'm gonna. I'm also going to show you how this works. So, first of all, you we need to install Source Maker because you can't just get it by a snap of the fingers. You need to download it. You can find Source Maker by creating first of all a Steam account if it's not the case yet. It's the only way to use SFM. So you, you will need to first. First of all, create a Steam account, then download uh, the Steam Launcher. Then you can go to the store, which is right here. You can type in right here, Source Filmmaker, and you should be able to find it. Here it is. And then there should be a download button around here. I think it's this button, free. You need to click on free, and you should be able to download it. So just a heads up, however. Uh, Sorcery Maker is actually a very big uh, software. Um, I think Sorcery Maker takes something like 10 gigabytes, which is actually actually a lot. So you you need to really have a lot of space on your disk if you if you want to use SFM. And there's no way to compress it, as far as I know. Well, th there could be, but I I didn't look for any. So once Sorcery Maker is installed, you want to go to the library. You want to go to installed. And you can finally use Source Filmmaker. Let's go for it. So you should see this small window, just click on launch. So by default, uh, that's, there should be this screen uh, while loading up. It can, however, take uh, a lot of time to load up. It can take up to one or two minutes if you have a quite old computer. So you should land on this window, which is the session uh, creator. Let's call it. Let's call it like that. So you can create a new session here. Uh, you can give the name here. Uh, you can choose the directory of the the session. I, I don't change it usually. It's in the SFM sessions itself. And then the frame rate. Please always use a frame rate of 60 because I have already tried that before but putting a lower frame rate does not make your session any any faster or anything I already tried and mating with 20 and 60 I can tell you there's really no difference with the performance of your computer so uh, we're gonna stick to 60 for these tutorials and then here you can select a, a recent session this is also where you can find the three official uh, Valve sessions which are Meet the Heavy, Engineer and Soldier because yes you can actually take these sessions make a parody of them and then upload them to YouTube it, it, it is actually possible you can also open a session directly with a file dialog I don't, I don't use that usually so alright let's call this the tutorial this is gonna be interesting so click on create, check the frame rate, 60, create. And then you're going to see that there is no map loaded. We, we will see why there is no map loaded. Uh, I think in the next tutorial, I won't have time to explain you what it, it 
actually corresponds to. Uh, however, by default, your your SFM shouldn't look like this. It should look by, uh, like this by default. I don't use this interface because the camera is way too large, the timeline is way too big, and the element viewer is very compressed, in my opinion. So you can actually uh, customize this interface. For example, if you see this small line with the three dots here, you can hover your mouse with it and left click and you can change the size of the, the windows. You can also do that with this here, vertically. And you can also take um, a window name so for example the name of this window here is primary viewport uh, hold your left mouse button and then just put it anywhere you can see that there are small squares that will appear and that actually correspond to the place where you can leave your your window so let's say I just want to put it here for example Poof, you can see I have just created a second window right next to the, the first one I, I had before. You can also simply, when you hover your left mouse button, uh, release it anywhere on the, the, the software, which, is, which will create a floating window. I don't use that very often unless you, you use a a secondary monitor because you can put a camera on the secondary monitor. So I'm just gonna leave this here at the moment. And one last thing, if you ever happen to mess around a little bit too much with the, the interface, you got uh, windows that disappear, you got the timeline that's completely packed up, let's, let's say that, you can always go to Windows, uh, Layouts and return to Default Layout and poof! magic. Uh, you can also save your own layouts. Let's say for example I want to use this layout, just gonna put this random thing. Alright, windows, layouts, uh, export layout, uh, let's say tutorial. Just save it anywhere you want. I put it in the SFM folder but it can be really anywhere, in your music folder, your document folder, you choose. And if I return to the default layout, I can still use my personal layout by clicking on import layout right here. And tutorial, here we are. That's magic. So I'm, go I'm just gonna stick to my personal layout, uh, which is uh, the default layout right here. So when using SFM, you may, um, you may need to have a secondary viewport, as I said. Uh, because I think that by default, uh, I might be mistaken, but the secondary viewport by default should not exist. It should uh, you should have a only the primary viewport. So you need to go to Windows, uh, secondary viewport, click on it, uh, hold your left mouse button, and leave it right here or anywhere you want, and you can have a secondary viewport. This will actually help us when we, we need to have a viewport uh, used for the work camera, which is the camera we use to work and animate, and uh, the scene camera, which is the camera that, that will display what, what will be rendered. So that is pretty much all I have to say about the interface. If you have got any questions about the interface, don't hesitate to send me comments in the comment section down below. Before I stop this episode, I simply wanna, want to show you how to use what we call the workshop, the SFM workshop. So, uh, on, on these tutorials, I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but I will, I will use both Team Fortress 2 characters and Splatoon characters because SFM was made for Team Fortress 2 by default and my channel is mostly Splatoon based so I think I got to to show you both so as I was saying this is what we call the Sorcery Maker Workshop uh, the workshop is a place where a lot of Steam users and other SFM users 
contribute to the software and publish models, maps, textures, all kinds of um, all kinds of assets you may need you might need for your sessions. In fact, so for example, um, by default you won't find any Splatoon models in Sorcery Maker. So you will have to go on the the Sorcery Maker workshop. Uh, let's say I want some Splatoon stuff. So I wanna I'm gonna type in Splatoon right here. And you should land on a list of results. So you can see a lot of models, textures and stuff. Uh, we got maps right here, Splatoon tutorial for example. Uh, models, socks. Um, you may actually need to download these, which are actually, as you can see, uh, Splatoon clothes. Uh, Splatoon clothes, sorry. Splatoon hats, Splatoon shoes, etc. Uh, those are only Splatoon, two, Splatoon 1, though. Uh, I think there are also, there's also Splatoon 2, but I don't seem to find them. Yeah, anyway. So let's say I want to download uh, Captain Cuttlefish. Let's go for it. Uh, you want you are going to click on subscribe. Subscribe actually means download. Uh, they call it subscribe because whenever there is an update, it will automatically be installed. So let's click on subscribe. Uh, you get this message that confirms you just downloaded the model. Meanwhile, while it's downloading, I know my internet is very slow. Um, a window will appear on SFM, which should look like this. Download new workshop files with the list of files you, you have just downloaded. So you need to click on OK, of course. And once they are downloaded and installed, you should get a dialog box very soon. Ah, there it is. So just click on OK. And we should be able to find it on Source View Maker. So that's it for the first episode of this SFM tutorial series. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the interface so far or the workshop, you can just uh, directly ask me in the comments section. I really hope I will be able to make a a few more videos in the upcoming weeks because, to tell you the truth, uh, school is very time consuming, I must admit. So I'm gonna do my best to make a few more tutorials soon and I hope to see you soon. So stay inspired and have fun! <laughs>